Greetings, Executor, and greetings to you, Tassadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it seems... Phoenix, it can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Old friend, would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar of Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Tarladu, noble Phoenix. Executor, it seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Although it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. Executor, you and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's Law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall send us all unto the Zerg.
Executor, Eldaris, this madness must stop. The sight of my brethren slaughtering one another is more than I can stand. Though I fear you would doom us all, Eldaris, I surrender myself to the Conclave. End Taro Adun, Executor. Don't give up the fight. Tassadar of the Templar, by your actions you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones, and learn to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Aldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end.